Drew Barrymore was only seven years old when she became a movie star in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. What are you going as, Gert? I'm going as a cow girl. The Barrymores in the 30s and the 40s were the most prominent acting family in Hollywood. They were all famous people of the theater, and they were respected, and they were talented, and, you know, and they drank. I know adults who've met you who say that, you know, you've never been eight. That, you know, you always hung out with adults, talked to adults, and really had a lot of adult friends. Part of the problem sounds like that you grew up too soon. At first, I really didn't know the difference. I was like six years old, hanging out with a bunch of 25-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I liked being around older people. I felt like I could relate to them better. Why? Just because they were more experienced. You know, I didn't want to go off and play Barbies. I wanted to go out to a club and dance. Also, adults, when she worked, were very accepting of her. Right. They were never critical. And when she would come back to school and try to assimilate and just try to be like all the other kids, there was a group of kids that was that would really stick it to her very resentful tell her she was fat she was a cow she was ugly i mean this was day after day after day after day and after six hours five days a week of getting non-stop you know putting put downs i didn't want to come home and discuss more of it you know mm -hmm. i just wanted to try and forget about it so you started drinking at nine mm -hmm. to prove a point or to feel good or to get drunk or what well, I didn't really know. I mean, when I was eight, I had had two glasses of champagne. And boom, I was like tipsy and, mm -hmm. you know, bubbly in the life of the party. And I felt so good. All my problem had seemed, you know, to disappear for that hour that I was out of it. And, uh, well, and I didn't e realize that until I was nine and I started casually drinking. And realize Where God, would you get alcohol from at nine? Oh, uh, parties, friends, bars, uh, clubs. What were you doing at bars at nine? Uh, a lot of the time it was for parties that I was invited to. A lot of the time I would walk up and they would be like, oh, it's little Drew Barrymore. Come right in. Good publicity, you know. And, and where um, were you when she was going to parties and bars at nine? I was never with her at bars at nine, um, but I would go with her to parties. There were a mm -hmm. lot of industry functions and mm -hmm. then private social slash business functions. And um, when we got there, we would stay together for time, then she would go her way and I would go my way. And not knowing about the problem, um, I was not as um, scrutinizing as I should have been. You just decided to just let her have some space? Yes. Nine or ten, that's exactly the age where you need some guidance, some oh, definition, definitely. some... You don't need a parent to back off and give you space at nine mm -hmm. or ten, especially if you were where Drew was at that time. Part of it was the fact that I didn't have a dad. I, I felt like my mom was abandoning me because she was always off at work. Um, Do you know now how you got to be so confused? I mean, how does a person born who looks like you do, who you know, comes from the kind of ancestry that you come from, the kind of family, and is friends with Spielberg and E.T., how do you get to be so depressed? How does that happen? Wow. How could you not look in the mirror and think you were beautiful? How could you not think, gee, this is a wonderful life and I'm going to do everything to protect it? I never looked in the mirror and thought I was beautiful. I always had the lowest self-esteem of anybody I knew. And, um, I so was... So you'd look in the mirror and think what? That I was overweight, that I had a, you know, a round face. My eyes weren't good enough. My hair wasn't good enough. My legs were too short. My waist was too big. My feet were too big. My teeth weren't straight enough. I mean, just every little detail wasn't right. Are you at a point in your life now where you can accept that this is who you are? Because I went through this, and it took me a long time to get to the point where I could really just accept that I don't have that. That is not what I have. This is what I have, and I'm going to have to work with this. Are you there yet? Yeah, I'm there. Um, it's scary, you know, because I want to stay sober so bad. And, there, you know, there is a possibility that I could slip again. But I feel so confident right now in the fact that I do want to stay sober, that I think that I, I 
feel that I have a really good chance at achieving sobriety for, you know, hopefully eternity.